Hi everyone, it's the Alistair. Um, I'm actually doing my January favorites video for 2012. Um, and I haven't made a video in a long time and I apologize. I've just been really busy with school. Um, I, I finally graduate in October, but then I'm going on for my master's. It's just taking a long time. So, um, but yeah, let's get back to what I was going to do. I'm doing a January 2012 favorites and I've used a lot of different beauty products and just different things. And apparently my cat uh, King decides to come up on the, on, on the um, table. Sorry about that. Um, let's start with the foundation that I've been using. This is uh, Dior, Dior Skin, or actually it's, um, let's see, Flawless Perfection Fusion Wear Makeup. I love this stuff. This is amazing. The color is um, 031 or 031. I don't think it has a name, um, but it's just very, it's like a dark, kind of like a tannish color, very nice. I like it because it gives like the illusion of like healthy, flawless skin. Um, yeah, hence the name. <laughs> so that's that. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to, okay. This I had talked about, in case any of you had seen uh, my makeup storage and collection video, which I did yesterday. Um, okay, sorry. King, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, this, I, uh, this was mentioned in it. This is a sleek uh, molten metal. It's a metallic eyeshadow duo. And I wasn't able to like hold the camera and show it to everyone, so I'm showing it to you now. don't want to blind you. But that's, I still can't do that autofocus thing with the camera. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's, um, it's really pretty. It's a creamy base. So what I usually do with this um, is I put it like right up here in this inner corner over here like that to really like, you know, like brighten the eyes and open them. And I love that. They have other little, you know, eyeshadow duos too. There's like a silver one. I like the gold myself, but you know, these are awesome and I've not found anything yet to replace this. There's, I do use Stila Kitten sometimes because um, that's like a nice, like, lighter powdery shade but it's more powder you know it's not going to be like a creamy base like this and I prefer this myself. Um, the next product is this. I could not pass this up. This is just um, a cover girl you know eyeshadow but look at that pink. I, I'm a sucker for pinks. I love pink. It's like my favorite color. Um, and this is um, I think it was knockout pink or something like that. Yep knockout pink. And I got this at Ulta. You can get them anywhere. Any drugstore or whatever. And again, sometimes I use this instead of like the white or that um, like that gold color from Sleek. Sometimes I'll use that in, in that center crease as well. So I love that. Um, the next thing, this is what I, oops, I just dropped something. <laughs> this is um, the MAC eyeshadow in Woodwinked, which is a Velux Pearl. And I don't know if you can see that. I got to learn this auto like focusing thing. It's probably not working. But it's just a really nice, um, almost like a bronzy color. Not gold, there's not gold flecks in it or anything, but it's, it looks metallic to some degree. It's one of their most popular colors with MAC. And I like that just to, along this, right over here, like this area, that region. Um, I have other, other eyeshadows that I use, like from the Naked Palette, from Urban Decay, which I like. But I switch it up a bit. And that's one of my favorites, though. This is my absolute favorite concealer. You've probably all seen this. This is the um, Hard Candy Glamouflage um, Heavy Duty Concealer. And I have the shade Medium. Um, I alternate between light and medium. They're cheap enough because you can get them at Walmart. Um, whereas, you know, you can buy two and it's still not a big deal because it's not that expensive. Um, it's just a nice consistency. I'll swatch it for you. You probably can't see that, but it's like... It's heavy duty, like they like they say, hence the name. I love it. It just, especially because like, I tend to break out a lot, like all along my chin. Um, I never did when I was a teenager, but now in my older years, please don't sit on my computer, King. Watch, he's sitting on my computer. King, don't sit on my computer, BB. But anyways, um, now for some reason I'm breaking out a lot more now that I'm an adult, um, and it's like just all along here, like all along my chin. If you guys know of anything that like helps or takes it away, 
or helps with acne products or whatever, um, please let me know. There's one by Oil of Olay, I guess it's a new one, like Pro X Acne Control. I have yet to try it. I'm not, you know, saying I'm not going to try it, but I just, I do like my clearance products, and sometimes I might do like a skincare um, video and show you guys what I use. Clearance to me is the best. It's very pricey, but like I said in my other video, um, I work at Lord & Taylor, so I do get a little bit of an employee discount. It's only 15%, but every little bit helps. Um, but back to the video. This is from NYX. This is, you've probably all seen this. I got this at Ulta. Um, and this is in the color Milk, or 604. Um, with this, I love it. I, well, I have an, oh, well, there we go. Yeah, I'll swatch it for you if you can see. It's just, you probably can't see that, but it's a very white, white color. And I just, I love this. I use this um, on my waterline, and then also sometimes before, I put on either that sleek palette or the, um, you know, like the, uh, I'm drawing a blank, Steal a Kitten. I put this on over like this to kind of like create a barrier for it um, so that it adheres to it a little bit better. So I love that. Um, speaking of priming though, well, because in a way that's almost like a primer for the other eyeshadow, but this itself is Max Prep and Prime. And I'm proud of myself. I hit pan on that one. I'm so happy. It, but I do have another one, a backup. I love it so much. Um, I want to try the, not the Benefit one. I tried that one and I didn't really like it. But the um, Too Faced, the Shadow Insurance, a lot of people here on YouTube talk about that. And I just want to know, like, if you guys like it, what your thoughts are, if you've tried it. Or tell me what you, what you like um, as far as, like, a, a primer for eyeshadow and things. But um, honestly, this has been awesome. I'm in the shade medium, but it's the Prep and Prime Eye. I also have one, a highlight one. I hardly use that though, but it's, it's a different one. You can put it on your eyes, but it's more for like highlighting and concealing, but that's different. Um, this is my absolute favorite um, like blush. This is the newest Benefit Hervana. Oh my goodness, look at that. I don't want to blind you guys, but look at that swirl look how beautiful that is and what a nice color that makes it's got some like darker pinks lighter pinks like a corally type of color it's just beautiful and when you you know use it it's just so natural looking but yet it's so pretty I, I just I love it so that's another one of my my favorites um I'm going to talk about my my eye or my uh, mascaras now these are two brand new products I mentioned them yesterday in my makeup um in storage collection video this one's the Maybelline Illegal Lash Fiber Extensions. And you probably can't see this. Again, sorry about that um, lack of autofocus. But it's wonderful. It's so nice. I'll show you as best I can. That's the brush. I wish this, like, camera was better. Um, but yeah, that's the brush. And a lot of times what I do is I'll put this on first. And then I use this one, the Photo Ready 3D Volume by Revlon, another brand new product that I absolutely adore, and I like that product too. So between the both of them, I, I get a pretty nice, decent lash that I really enjoy. Um, so that's that, but for the bottom lid, or the bottom lashes rather, I've always used this, and chances are I probably always will. It's the Lash Discovery, um, this is one of my backups, that's why it's still in the packaging. Um, by Maybelline and it's in very black. They're smaller, like the the you know um, the brush is very small, so it's it's better to get underneath. So maybe I'm weird, but I like to use the underneath and then the other ones for the the top ones, the top ones, yeah. Um, this I use so many different things for my lipstick. Honestly, I use 50 different things. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean. Um, but this is amazing. Again, they put a, a mirror in there. I don't know if you can tell. This is Peony number no. 3 by Stila. It's a convertible color. It's a dual lip color and sheet cream. So it does have, it's a creamy base, but what I do is I take my, um, I don't, you know what, I don't have any really decent, um, like, brushes yet. I'm eventually going to invest in the Sigma brushes, but, because I've heard so much about them from you guys and it, they, they seem remarkable. I only have the e.l.f. ones. e.l.f. is okay, at least for now, but I'll take like the, the, the lip one and I'll just kind of dip it in there and put it on. 
I right now though I have I don't have this on today. I have something else. What do I have on? Oh, pink plaid by Mac, and just the L'Oreal like it's like a lip gloss, a brand new lip gloss. Um, I showed that in my makeup and collection video as well. This is my favorite nail polish. I don't have it on today because when I was at work, I honestly you probably can't see this, but this is the Chanel May. It's called. And I only put it on because I was bored at work one day and I just said, I'll go over to the Chanel counter and I'll put on their new, um, their new, you know, nail polish. They have different colors. This one's in May. It's very pretty pink. But this is my absolute favorite one. This is actually Revlon's, um, Pink Lingerie, number 110. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a very pale pink. It's like a baby pink and I just, I adore it. And it stays on, you know, really nice. Um, this is my last favorite here. Um, this is a brand new product. Got this over at Kmart. It's the NYC. It's a bronzing, sun and bronze, bronze, uh, bronzing powder. The color is 709 in Montauk Bronze. They have other colors, but I like the darkest one because it's bronze, you know. And it's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got little like squared type of things in there. And it just creates such a nice, healthy glow. Such a nice bronze. Um, and then this is my... Well, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, perfumes this month. This is the brand new Princess Night by Vera Wang. And this comes off. It, you can use it as a ring, I guess. Or this, this is the ring. Yeah. I never do, but, you know, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. It's like a, um, it almost smells magical. I mean, well, what I'll do is if I can... I'm going to go on my favorite um, website for fragrances um, and I'll list in the, if I, what I'll do is I'll edit this video and I'll, I'll try to like put the, the notes in it. But I bought this at Ulta. So if you guys want, check it out. You know, it's amazing. Um, excuse me, there's one other product. This is um, my Jo Malone cologne, or not cologne, but, um, well yeah, Wild Blue Bell cologne. This is women's, but they do have um, men and women's types as well. This is expensive though, I have to admit. This I got at one of our local salons that sells Jo Malone products there. And this is only the one ounce bottle. Um, so it is expensive. I don't use it very often because, you know, it's just, it's so nice. It's, it's like a, well, it's not floral, but it's more like, you know what it actually reminds me of? A weird version of Cool Water by Davidoff in an odd way. I don't know if that makes sense. Or maybe Max Turquatic. It's kind of like that. If you know what those smell like. But I just love it. They've got a million and one other scents to choose from. This one just happens to be my favorite. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, those are my new favorite products for this month. Um, oh, one other. This is food. They're probably not good for us, but you know what? Famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. I can't be without them, especially now that I'm studying. I'm taking these two very difficult classes, and uh, let me tell you, the stress, and I just, I eat them and eat them and eat them. It's terrible, I know. Um, but yeah, that's that. And um, so that's pretty much it as far as, like, my favorite products for this month goes. Um, let's see what else. I, I also... Um, I'm going to be honest, I, I buy and sell a lot of stuff on eBay. Um, you know, I only, I only sell authentic products and I only try to buy authentic products. Um, so yeah, if you guys are ever interested in seeing any of the stuff that I have to sell, um, it's also Alistair, not the Alistair, but it's A-L-L-I-S-T-H-E-R on eBay. And I just um, realized I'm a power seller, so woohoo, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to be making, I'm going to try to make more videos this year because honestly I have not been making videos in the past like year and a half or so and um, you know, I apologize about that. And you know, honestly, I, all of the stuff that I have, I buy with my own money. I'm not bragging, you know, I know a lot of people do say stuff like that in their videos and you know, I'm 32, I work and you know, I try to save money when I can, but there's so many things I want, as you all probably feel, too. And if anyone has any questions, um, or comments, or, you know, video responses, please let me see, let me know. 
and um, yeah, we'll just we'll go from there. But I'm gonna try to make more videos. I can't promise, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try. I, I promise I'm gonna try. And I'd love to see if any of you guys have any, you know, makeup and storage um, collections, any updates, let me know. I love those videos. And also perfumes, because I'm the biggest fume head you'll, you'll meet. Um, so I, I just, I love perfumes. Um, if you have any recommendations, any suggestions, or if you know of any new fragrances that are coming out this year, please tell me. I mean, I just, I, I'm a fanatic for fragrances. And I love makeup, too. I'm getting more into makeup, so... Like, I used to when I was younger, and then I kind of stepped away, and then it was all fragrances, and now I'm kind of going back to it. But So that pretty much wraps up today's video, and I hope you guys all have a great day, and um, be, be sure to subscribe. Thanks. I'll talk to everyone soon. Bye-bye.